Okay, we're on step 31, and this is where we're going to start building the fins. And this is what the fin is going to look like when it's done. And this is the booster fin. So in step 31, we need to remove these pieces. This is the core. And if you look on the sheet, it says BF1, which is booster fin, the first part. So there's little tabs on the fins, and you'll cut those, and you're going to remove all four of them. So I'll go ahead and do that. After you get all the fin cores removed, take some sandpaper and sand off all the little tabs that were used to hold it into the balsa wood. The outside edges are the, the edges to worry about. This is not so much. Next, we're going to tape this to the work surface. And I'm going to just use a piece of glass. And the purpose of this is to make sure everything is perfectly flat. So uh, this is going to be taped down. You're going to do the leading and the trailing edges so it doesn't shift around on you. Okay, in step 32, we need to remove four of the BF2. And that's from this sheet right here. This is part number 40095. We need to remove four of these. And right below it is BF3. Um, and they're slightly different. So only remove the BF2 right now. And then the second part of step 32 is to also remove any tabs on the outside. The upper surface, the flat side, is the most important side because this is going to be the upper part. And these little tabs are going to go into these slots right there. So having the little tabs on the bottom sides is not so important, but the ones on the top, you want to get those off. Step 33, we need to take four of the BF2s and we're going to glue these into this slot right here. So you see uh, these little tabs here, they're going to go into the slots and you'll notice that they don't go all the way across. Um, they're only going to go in half of it. So when you put them in, slide it as far as you can towards that tip edge of the fin right there. At that point, we're going to tack glue them down. Make sure that they're perfectly vertical, so they're not canted one way or another. There's a little bit of a slop in there, but just be careful. And we're going to do that for all the fins. I'm just going to work on one fin right now, but all four fins are the same. Step 34, we're going to remove eight of the BF4s. That's this one right here. The BF4 is this one, so we need eight of these and four of these. You'll notice that on the BF5, there's a little hump on one of the ends, and that's there for a purpose. That's to tell you which is the front. So this is going to be the front of the fin, where that little bump is. So pop four of those out. And then we need eight of these. Oops, I broke it. That's okay. Okay, there's no sanding required on these right now because we're going to sand these later. In step 35, glue the BF5 part, and that was the part with the little tab on it. That's going to get glued here on the tip. And remember, keep that little bump towards the front of the fin. So in my fin, this is the front edge, and it's going to go right along the edge. And we're going to tack glue that in place. Step 36, these uh, BF4s, one is going to be glued here like that, and then the other one is going to be glued the other side. And again, these are, these are angled. Make sure that it's flush up against that edge right there. On the back side, you'll notice that it hangs over this edge of the canted part right there. That's okay. It's going to get sanded off later. The critical thing is that this edge right here is nice and straight. Okay, so now we need BF6, and that's in this sheet here where the fins were. And we need one of those for each of the fins. And these are a stiffener. So I'm going to pop these out like that. And again, you'll see that it's thicker on this end than this end. That's going to get glued here along this spar on the front side towards the tip of the fin and then push it up against these stiffeners there as well and then we'll glue that into place. Okay, so now in step 38 we want to add fillets along everything. So here's the root, here's the tip, peak ribs right here. 
that requires a medium. So I'm going to take my medium thick glue. This is the most important one, that, that middle spar. All these are going to get sanded down, not so critical. So I'm going to ignore those for now. And I'm going to get my Insta set. And we're going to stiffen these right up, right like that. Okay, so go ahead and do the other three fins exactly like this. Then you'll remove them from your work table. The purpose of putting them on your work table is to make sure that they're nice and straight uh, because we want this rocket to fly straight. Go ahead and do the other ones. I'll be right back and we'll start step 39. Okay, we're on step 39. So we have one side of the fin done. We're going to do the other side and steps 39 through 44 or 45 are nearly identical to the previous steps that we did. Step 39 is to remove the BF3. So now this is the other side and the BF3 uh, in step 40, we're going to glue it into the slots and you'll notice that it just barely fits. When you do the fillets on this side, make sure that no glue leaks down into those pockets on this side or you're going to have a hard time putting them in. If you watched ahead, be sure to do that. Now I'm going to glue that in place. I'm just kind of tacking it in right now. In step 41, we're going to remove the remainder of the BF fours and the BF fives. So those are those pieces, the piece with the little tab on them. In step 42, we're going to glue the BF five to the tip as we did before. And in step 43, we're going to glue the formers on the root edge. Step 44, we're going to remove the remainder of the BF6, the peak doubler. So this is the peak of the fin and we're going to remove those and we're going to glue one to the forward edge of the main spar there. Now we're going to put glue fillets on everything again. And again, it requires the medium. I'm going to just use some thin along here. So I got one doubler left and I forgot to put that one on this. So I've gone ahead and done the, the other three, except for this piece right here. All right, so now we are on step 46. Now this one is a little bit trickier. So we have our four fins. We're gonna now bevel this edge. And we're gonna use some coarse sandpaper because we're going to be in the plywood and sanding plywood is, is rough. The only way to do it is to use coarse sandpaper. When you're done, we're, basically what we're going to do is we're going to bevel that edge and at the same time it's going to take down the formers on the, the tip and the root edge. The instructions say you're going to take about half of the thickness here at the edge and you'll notice that it's going to be beveled for about five millimeters which is three sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to mark that just to show you what's going to happen. I'm going to draw a line that's five millimeters. You don't have to do this, but uh, I'm just going to do this to show you. Now you're going to do this over the edge of a table. Since I'm working on this table here, I just got this big old block of aluminum to kind of simulate the front edge of my table. I want to put this fin right at the edge of the table. When we bevel it, half of the uh, sanding tee is going to be below the edge of the table. So that's why I need a table edge right here. And now this, see it kind of wobbles like that. I want to put something under this other end and just kind of stabilize it so that it doesn't wobble back and forth as I'm sanding. So keep that edge along the edge there. And then we're going to start sanding. You can see that I'm taking down that edge. Again, keep this edge here and you'll notice that I'm starting to cut into my marker here. We want to make it nice and uniform all the way across. Concentrate on that edge. See right here, I'm a gun a little bit higher. Um, here in the middle, I'm not quite there yet. 
Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do that to all four edges on all four fins. So this is gonna take a while. This is not the easiest thing to do, but uh, you'll be able to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then when I get all these done, we'll move on to step 47. So more sanding.